Hello everybody, Xroid64 back again with another Kirby and the Forgotten Land video. Today's video will be covering the most recent overview trailer, the new demo, and the concept of evolving copy abilities through Waddle Dee's Weapon Shop. For this video I'll be going over a specific segment in the trailer, as well as other videos from the Japanese Forgotten Land website that give further detail to the evolved forms. Before we start, I have some very quick updates from both forms of media. We finally got the full opening cutscene, showing us every detail of what happens to Kirby, and how he ends up on the beach of the new world. We see the iconic butterfly from every opening cutscene also get swept through the portal, meaning we may see a familiar face. Or two, even. We get to see a couple more forms of Malfa mode being stairs, dome, pipe, and the roller coaster mounts. The movie theater building in Waldy Town is almost without a doubt a cutscene viewer. We see another brand new shop in Waldy Town as well that provides buffs to Kirby and Bandanity as well. These being increased life, attack boost, and speed enhancements which can all be stacked and bought using star coins. We get the confirmation that the Colosseum is indeed a traditional Kirby arena area, putting you up against sub bosses and normal bosses alongside the appearance of Meta Knight at some point as well. The rift levels have been soft revealed being called treasure roads, and it seems that they'll be taking the form of copy ability challenge rooms from Return to Dreamland, putting your skills to the test with each copy ability, and completing them as fast as possible rewards you with something called the rare stones, which I'll get into later. And lastly, we got a full-scale reveal of King Dedede, completed in the wild stylization, almost pitching him as the main enemy of the game, surprisingly. Moving on to the topic at hand, in the most recent trailer we learned that inside Waddle Dee's Weapon Shop, you're able to evolve already existing copy abilities with some required items. And doing so gives said copy abilities massive upgrades that completely change the way they're used. On the Japanese website, we can see every copy ability being listed. These are Cutter, Hammer, Ice, Sword, Needle, Fire, Bomb, the new Drill and Ranger, Tornado, Crash, and Sleep, meaning we probably won't be getting any more abilities outside of the ones listed, unfortunately. All of these ability upgrades give Kirby different appearance changes alongside the actual physical upgrades. I'll go over all of these evolution options for every copy ability, because there are more outside of the new trailer that can be grouped together as well. Evolving copy abilities does require a couple steps to begin with, which gives the player something to actually search for in the game. For the requirements themselves, I'm gonna go by this screenshot. Here, it seems as if you need to discover the original copy ability first, or it may be an option for you to revert back to the original after you've upgraded it. Either way, this is step one. Step two is to discover the upgrade blueprint associated with the actual upgrade, either through boss fights or exploration. As for step 3 and 4, they may fluctuate depending on the stage or tier of evolution. Step 3 is that you need 500 star coins, which gives that bit of incentive and purpose of star coins outside of them being a meaningless currency like in past games. And lastly, step 4 requires you to collect 2 rare stones from the previously mentioned treasure roads, meaning you'll actually need to play these additional challenge rooms in order to access a stage 1 evolution. Now to move on to the ability evolutions themselves. Each copy ability has two evolutions outside of Crash and Sleep, which only have one. I'll be going over each and every one with as much detail as I possibly can gather from all of the current trailers, the Japanese website, the official Kirby wiki, and the recently playable demo of the game. Some footage of the demo was played over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash xsword64 as well, so you'll be seeing some footage from that here as well. Starting off we have Bomb, which has two evolved forms being Chain Bomb and Auto Search Bomb. Chain Bomb works the exact same way as Normal Bomb, but the bombs Kirby throws get connected and explode after the sixth bomb is thrown. You're able to link more than one or more bombs together, allowing for multiple explosions to chain with one another when detonated. Auto Search Bomb's features are currently unknown at this point, and the only tidbit we know so far is from the Kirby Wiki, where it says that Auto Search Bombs are now drone-like and home in on enemies. 
From this, we can imagine that auto search bombs are dropped and then roam around for a small period until they detect an enemy. And obviously, once detected, they move towards the enemy and detonate. Cutter has two evolved forms, being Chakram and Full Metal Cutter. Chakram Cutters allow Kirby to throw a pair of Chakrams, which are blades that tend to curve in a direction when returning. Kirby can throw multiple cutter blades in various directions, which can lead to very interesting and high damaging setups and combos to be used especially powerful on boss fights. Full Metal Cutter resembles a power saw. The saw blades themselves that shoot from the hat can be rebound off of walls at a mirror angle. The blades are much larger than normal cutter blades and can take out rows of enemies if used correctly. Drill has two evolved forms, being Pencil and Twin Drills, or Twins Drill. Pencil Drill resembles a pencil sharpener, and when Kirby pops out of the ground, he shoots the pencil out as an additional projectile. The ability works just like normal drill, at least from what we've seen, because it's currently not playable in the new demo. You have a little bit of extra time to do some damage out of the ground, along with obviously an additional projectile to shoot. Twin drills we have no footage for, but the description reads that the drills let him attack above ground enemies while underground, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, but I guess we'll see once the game fully comes out. Fire has two evolved forms, Volcano and Dragon Fire. Volcano Fire slightly resembles Burnstone from Crystal Shards. Kirby shoots multiple balls of magma out of his volcano-shaped head. When the fireballs land, they leave small patches of fire behind for other enemies to land in. Dragon Fire is easily one of the most versatile and mobile abilities so far. The range on Kirby's fire breath is extremely long and you're able to perform his burning or dash attack mid-air and gain quite some distance with it too. And it looks like it can be used multiple times mid-air as well. Hammer has two evolved forms, Toy and Wild Hammer. Toy Hammer resembles a squeaky toy, I think. It seems the attack speed is faster than normal hammer, and the sound effects are changed so that it sounds like an inflatable toy hammer you'd win at a fair or carnival. Wild Hammer seems to follow the same pattern as two more evolved forms, as the blueprint is most likely obtained from a wild-styled sub-boss, meaning that we're probably going to see a bonkers variation in the wild stylization. Ice has two evolved forms, being Frosty and Blizzard Ice. Frosty Ice is obtained by defeating Wild Frosty and probably getting the blueprint from him, because the ability's appearance looks just like him. When used, Frosty Ice creates little snowmen, and if you walk into them, they skate towards the desired enemy. Ice Breath is also stronger and makes freezing enemies a lot easier than before. Blizzard Ice we haven't seen, but the wiki's description is that it is a more powerful version of ice, and you can shoot out icicles. It's not very helpful, but just like Twin Drills, we will see when the game comes out. Needle has two evolved forms, Clutter and Crystal Needle. Clutter Needle resembles the Swiss Army Needle, or Double Needle from Crystal Shards. I don't really know what differs from this variation from the original, besides appearance, obviously. And the wiki doesn't give any decent descriptors as well. Crystal Needle, however, we have zero footage for, but we know from the wiki that it can leave spike traps on the ground after you roll, which can be pretty useful for trapping enemies in. Ranger has two evolved forms, Noble and Space Ranger. Noble Ranger's blaster is replaced by two blunderbuss type weapons that shoot out multiple slower cannonballs at enemies, while Space Ranger's blaster and outfit resembles that of a stereotypical cartoon astronaut equipped with a laser pistol that shoots out rapid fire laser beams at high speeds towards enemies. Sword has two evolved forms, Gigant and Meta Knight Sword. Gigant Sword can be obtained from Wild Edge, and like previously mentioned Wild Sub-Bosses, getting the blueprint from it. Gigant Sword's playstyle feels very similar to that of Monster Hunter, as you're able to swing around a giant sword multiple times, both grounded and mid-air. You're able to change it to two stages and land a high damaging blow to enemies. Meta Knight's sword is most likely obtained by defeating Meta Knight at the Colosseum, and there he might give you the blueprint for it. Either this, or it could be an amiibo unlock, seeing as we know there's amiibo functionality for Meta Knight's amiibo. If this is the case, then there's a chance that another sword evolution could exist, and we haven't actually seen it yet. 
Tornado has two evolutions, Swallow and Storm Tornado. Swallow Tornado is obtained from Florina, which upon defeat will most likely give the blueprint for this evolution. When in use, the tornado itself grows larger in size and the duration of the tornado effect lasts longer than the original ability. Storm Tornado allows you to blast enemies with lightning as you pass through them, and if they're outside the tornado. The ability's duration and power hasn't really been shown off, so there's a chance that the duration Kirby is in the tornado is shorter to compensate for its power. Crash has one evolution, Time Crash. Time Crash allows Kirby to freeze time for a set amount of time. The size of the explosion increases the duration of the slowdown, meaning that the longer you hold the charge down, the longer the time freeze effect will last. And finally, Sleep has one evolution, Deep Sleep. Deep Sleep gets Kirby all dressed up and ready for bed, before an actual bed appears and he gets in it. After Kirby gets some rest, he awakes and is fully healed. Perhaps alongside the full health restore, he also gets additional attack and speed upgrades, but we'll know when the game comes out. And that pretty well concludes it for this Kirby in the Forgotten Land video. Once again, if you're interested in Kirby content, please feel free to watch my video essay on Kirby's Return to Dreamland. I would really appreciate it. And, uh, hold on a minute. Don't go anywhere. This is, uh, Exord in the flesh. I know, long time no see for the face cam enthusiasts. Just wanted to say right quick that on March 25th, I will be live streaming all of Kirby and the Forgotten Land from hopefully start to finish on twitch.tv forward slash xrod64. Hoping to do so anyways, because I, uh, I would really like to now that I have all this lovely technology. And to, to prove that point, which you've already seen the video, but this is the overlay. Fuck. Look, I have I have the ability to do this. I have the demo in my hands. If you if you're so inclined to join me on March 25th, then please feel free to drop down to my channel. I don't know when. I like. Hold on. Let me check time conversions. Hold on. <laughs> so after some quick time conversions, I'm just gonna say 10:30 a.m. EST is when I'm gonna go live, which is noon my time. Plan right now. The plan as is right now is that I'm going to stream most of Kirby and the Forgotten Land on the 20th, 25th, 25th. So yes, okay. So join if you get the opportunity. Obviously, that would be very appreciated. But yeah. That's, that's pretty well everything. Uh, yeah. This is x 64 signing off.